Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're checking in on the urban worm bag after that huge feeding last week. So let's see what we've got. Moving some of our cardboard over so I can scrounge around in here and see what we've got. Kind of a, a nice cluster of good size worms here. Uh, these are African night crawlers. I'm starting to wonder if it's all African night crawlers or not because I have been seeing some very zippy little worms moving backwards that seems a little suspicious to me. But, uh, you know, the, the reason I bought this bin was so that the African night crawlers could be someplace warm in the winter. So I'm not going to be super upset if something else is living in here. I just needed a safe place for them to be when it was cold. So it looks like we still have a, an apple core in here from the feeding. I did another... Um, harvest on the bottom and it was wetter than the one before but there was a couple of super wet feedings so that is that's on me but let's see kind of collecting up the food and putting it over in the corner here so we can put it on top so I just took that harvest and put it the harvest from the bottom of the bag and put it in the top of the bag another apple core um, it was unfinished and just had a ton of worms in it, so I haven't quite got past that another apple core. That point where I think I'm figuring out the whole bag system thing. This is my first bag, and so uh, there's a learning curve, and I'm just not quite there yet not upset about it. It's not the bag's fault that, you know, it's taken me a while to figure things out. So we still have quite a bit of uh, food from that feeding that I, that's actually a little warm. So this was, I think, unfrozen apples and stuff. So the unfrozen, unblended items take a very, take significantly longer than frozen pureed things. But I'm going into a season at work where I am going to be super busy and I'm not probably going to have very many videos. So, this might be the, the last update for these guys for a while. Just wanted to see what the condition of them was, make sure nothing anaerobic was happening. So I'm just going to put that cardboard back down, put their food back in. I'm not going to give them any new green food, if you will. I'm going to throw some more bedding in there because I know if I don't get back to them for a good long time that they'll eat the bedding um, just as well as they'll eat the food. So I'm just going to make sure they've got enough air. Everything's been flipped over. Food's buried. Then I'm just going to give them some coffee filters and um, corn husks. And these are cooked corn husks, so I know they take almost almost forever. Okay, there is a couple pieces of corn in here, but they can get to that after quite a long time. But the, the cooked corn husk takes forever. This is an uncooked one. They'll probably zip through this, you know, in a couple of weeks. So yeah, that's 
really not a lot of coffee. It's just the filters. Didn't want to give them anything else that would heat up. I just wanted to make sure they had something if I didn't get back to them for two or three weeks. All right, guys. So go ahead and give me a muddy coffee ground thumb up and hit the notification bell because it's going to be a little sporadic right now during the busy season at work and I might not get to uploading these things a couple times a week like I've been trying to do. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and uh, everybody thank you for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.